Hi, my name is Brandon Grant, Marketing Director here at QuoteWorks. In this video, we're going to walk you through downloading and installing QuoteWorks for the first time. After you have entered your information into the Start Trial form, you'll be directed to this web page on the QuoteWorks website. Here's where you can download the trial version of QuoteWorks by clicking on the Download Demo Version button. This will start the download sequence in your browser. While you're waiting for the download to complete, you can watch the Getting Started with QuoteWorks video in the meantime. Once the download completes, click on the Download to run the installation. If prompted to allow the app to make changes to your PC, simply click Yes, and this will begin the installation process. The QuoteWorks Setup window will appear, and simply click Next to proceed through the installation process. On the License Agreement step, you need to set it to you accept the agreement in order to proceed with the installation. The next action will ask you if you want to perform a new installation of QuoteWorks or update an existing installation. We want to select perform new installation and then click next. Next you'll choose the destination location. By default QuoteWorks will want to install on the C applications and then the QuoteWorks directory folder. If you would like to install this in another location or on your server, simply click on the Browse button and then browse to the folder or directory where you would like QuoteWorks to be installed to. For this example, we're going to install it in the C Applications QuoteWorks folder. Click Next to continue, and this will bring us to the Fresh Installation Options window. This is where you can choose which optional components you want to install. By default, the Install Default Templates and the Install Sample Data in Default Product Database checkboxes will already be set. We recommend you have these checkboxes set so that you do not start with a completely blank installation. This will provide some example layouts, cover pages, reports, and products for you to play around with while you're evaluating QuoteWorks. Once you've made your selections, go ahead and click Next to proceed and then next once more where QuoteWorks will begin the installation process. Once the main installation has completed, you'll see a confirmation message that the shared installation portion of QuoteWorks has completed. There's now a second phase of the installation, which is going to be the node installation. This will now proceed by clicking on continue, and again click next, click next again, and this will begin the node setup process. The backup replace file step prompts you to create a backup of your existing QuoteWorks documents that may be replaced during the installation. Since we are starting fresh, we're going to go ahead and click no and then click next. The next step will be to select your optional components. If you are using Microsoft Dynamics, Sugar CRM, Act for Web, ConnectWise, Autotask, Maximizer CRM Live, or Zoho CRM Live as your CRM or PSA system that you wish to integrate with QuoteWorks, select the option here. If you're not using any of these, simply uncheck the options that don't apply to you. And then click Next when ready. The next option will be if you want QuoteWorks to be installed in the Start menu and be available for all users or only a specific user on the installation. And if you want QuoteWorks to create the shortcut on your desktop, click the checkbox and then click Next. And then this will begin the installation process of the node setup for QuoteWorks. Once completed, the installation complete window will appear and you'll see that the node installation was successful. You simply need to click Finish to complete the installation. After the installation has completed, QuoteWorks will prompt you to either enter in a license key to begin or to continue in demo mode. For those of you without a license key, simply click continue in demo mode. This will open up QuoteWorks and bring you to the setup wizard. Here you can set your country, your base currency, and the base currency symbol. Click next to continue. Set a default tax rate if you need to. If you don't charge sales tax or, or want to change it later, you can always set it to zero. On the next step, you can choose the contact manager or PSA system that you're going to integrate with QuoteWorks. Click on the drop down and select the contact manager or PSA system that applies to you. For our example, we're just going to select QuoteWorks and then click Next. 
If you're going to be integrating with QuickBooks or Peachtree slash Sage 50, you can select from the options here. If you don't want to set up the integration right now, that's fine. We can always come back to this later. The purchase order integration is how you want POs handled in QuoteWorks. If you are going to be integrating with QuickBooks, Sage 50 slash Peachtree, ConnectWise or Autotask for purchase orders, you can make those selections here as well and then click next once done. The last step on the setup wizard will be to enter in your company, name, email, address, city, state, phone number, fax number, and website information. This is going to be used for shipping and your letterhead and signature defaults. Click finish when done, and you're ready to start using QuoteWorks. After you launch QuoteWorks for the first time, on the right hand side of the screen you'll see a getting started bar. This will show you the getting started video which will walk you through some of the setup of QuoteWorks including setting up users and your price files. There's also an interactive quick start guide which will show you some of the major features and functionality in QuoteWorks. We also have a list of resources available for you such as training videos, the screenshot tour, a product overview video, link to the QuoteWorks help file which is the user manual, tip of the day, features and benefits of the software, tips for selecting quoting software, and instructions for purchasing. As always, if you have any questions or need any assistance, or just a phone call away, feel free to give us a call at 407-248-1481, or you can email us at sales at Thanks for watching.